My new book Rebel Craft is out and to celebrate I'm going to show you one of my favorite projects from the book today. In the book you can find 15 craftivism projects, projects you can do to change the world around you. And you guys are very used to seeing woodworking projects for me or upcycling, but in this book you can find everything. You can find embroidery projects, knitting, paper crafts, even a clay project. Let's have a look inside the book. The book is a nice hardcover and I'm loving this pink and yellow combination. I love the cover. And if I have a look inside, you can see all the projects have very easy to follow step-by-step -step photography. Change can start from your own home. And what this book does, it shows you 15 projects you can make to change the world around you. There are projects focused on equality, feminism, letter writing campaigns, environmental issues. There are projects for screen printing. There are projects uh, you can make to help people in need. And what I'm going to show you today is one of my favorite projects, which is the badge. I love making these badges. For starters, it's a very good thing to wear your heart on your chest and to show the world what you stand for. But also, as these are hand-stitched, it's a very mindful project to do. Let me show you what we need. You're going to need a cotton fabric, ideally with a nice print, embroidery threads, balsa wood, which is a very thin wood you can cut with a craft knife. If you don't have this, you can use a thick cardboard as well. A large safety pin, something to cut your wood or paper on, pen, pencil, craft knife, scissors, and a round object for you to trace. Start by tracing your round object on your balsa wood. Or like I said, if you don't have balsa wood, you can use a thick cardboard. Like so, and we're gonna cut out this circle. And when you have your circle cut, you're gonna make a little opening for you to put your fabric through. You don't wanna put it too close to the edge because it will break otherwise. We're just gonna make a little slit. There we go. If the outer edge feels a bit rough, you can give it a soft sand. Now to decorate. You could trace out your design with a pencil first. Um, let me do the girl power one. And then you trace it with your black pen. And you can decorate your badge a little bit more. To make this strap for your badge, what you're going to do, you're going to cut your fabric to a piece of 18 centimeters long and 7 centimeters wide. And you're going to fold the outer edge to the middle, like so. Just to make sure this is no wider than the little hole you cut in your badge. We're going to put the fabric strap to the opening that we cut. Like so. Gonna fold this double. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a safety pin. We're gonna wrap the fabric around that too. So, and we're going to pin this all in place. I'm going to close my safety pin again before I step myself. So this is sort of how it's going to look. And we're going to do now, we're going to take our embroidery thread. It's going to do a simple running stitch all the way here. I'm going to split my embroidery thread in half, so I have three strands. Just threaded my needle, I'm gonna do a little knot at the end. And now we start stitching. You simply use a runner stitch all the way from here to your safety pin and back. And a running stitch is just going up and down through both layers of the fabric. In to both sides of the fabric and back out again. 
in and out and keep doing this until we're here and that's the last stitch let's cut this thread finished If you like the project, have a look at the rest of the book. Rebel Craft is out worldwide, so go to your favorite bookstore or look online and order one today. If you'd like to win a copy, head over to my Instagram, Hester's Handmade Home, and you can win a copy for you and for one of your friends. So have a look at the book, Rebel Craft, order one, and I'll see you soon with a new video.